Hi, uh, in this video, I'm going to let you know about our group assignment uh, in details. Um, so, our group assignments is actually comprises of chapter 8 and chapter 9, which is fundamental and technical analysis. So, uh, what you have to do if you need to find uh, one company which is uh, publicly listed at Bursa, Malaysia, you can choose uh, uh, your preference, like uh, maybe you can choose Nestle, you can choose uh, 7-Eleven, you can choose uh, a lot of uh, uh, Seng, um or you can choose also uh, Maxis, Asiata, uh, the TNB and so on, right? But what you have to do, I'm uh, going to divide it by two parts. Okay, the first part is... You have to do the uh, the uh, chapter 8 uh, analysis, which is fundamental analysis. And the second part is this one. The chapter 9 analysis, which is the technical analysis. Okay, let's go to the first part, which is chapter 8. So, each group is required to analyze the financial statement. So, what you have to do, you have to find uh, the company's annual report. So, download at least two years annual report of the company from the year, for example, from the year 2018 and also 2009-19. So, if you uh, happens to uh, find um, the latest 2020, then it's okay. You can include uh, the 2020 and 2019. But if not, Okay, uh, the one that most uh, mostly available in the website is this one, 2018 and also 2009-19. So, uh, download these two annual reports and then what you have to do is find the ratio. The first one is calculate the liquidity ratio for both years, okay, for both 2018 and also 2009 which is you have to calculate in the liquidity ratio is the current ratio. Second, market value ratio, the one that you have to calculate is the dividend per share and also PER, the price earning ratio. Please check the formula which is uh, 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 which has been given to you in the uh, video for our chapter 8. Uh, profitability uh, ratio, uh, you have to calculate the return on equity and also the return on asset. For leverage ratio, represents by the debt to equity ratio. So, this is the ratio that you have to calculate. So, do not do the other one. Just uh, calculate this uh, one only, right? So, according to the instructions, right? Okay, so settle for the uh, first part, uh, but uh, in the analysis, uh, after you ha have already calculated uh, all the ratios, of course, you have to compare. Compare the performance from 2018 to 2019. For example, you are compa comparing the current ratio for 2019 as compared to 2018. Is it better or is it uh, uh, showing some um, decrease uh, in the ratio or something uh, like um, does it uh, give it to uh, giving uh, the information that the ratio is increased or not, right? For current ratio, we would want it to be the higher, the better. So, you have to compare. Uh, for 2019 compared to 2018 compared to 2019-19. So, the same as over here. The, DV, the DPS, the PER, ROE and return on asset. So, yes, normally we do want it to be the higher, the better. For debt uh, to equity ratio, we want it to be lower. It shows that the company... Uh, having less debt, right? So, this is the comparison that you have to make and uh, include the analysis in the report. Second part is for chapter 9. 
So of course you have to compile the whole uh, this first part and second part in same one report, right? So uh, go to chapter uh, sorry goes to uh, part two, which is in chapter nine. Okay. Secondly, you have to do is uh, find the stock prices uh, movement, uh, especially the chart of the stock prices. Uh, if you uh, able to find the like, like for example, this one Nestle from January two thousand nineteen to. December 2019 but currently uh, uh, since this is the year 2021 so you can already find the prices for 2020 so in the analysis you have to critically uh, evaluate the trends of the charts whether it is bullish or bearish so how uh, first one you have to find the chart or uh, the price for daily trend okay so for the daily trend uh, try to take a look on the uh, share prices for at least one month. For example, if you choose uh, uh, December uh, a month during the 2020, so the share price that you have to find is from 1 December until 31st December 2020 for one month only. So this is uh, make up for the daily trend. Okay, Secondary trend, uh, or the medium turn trend, uh, you have to find at least uh, for three weeks to months, but normally less than a year. But I want it, I want it you, uh, you try to uh, find at least for one year, one year for this one, right? So, cari untuk setahun, yeah, untuk secondary trend. So, it's easier for you to tabulate and also easier for you to make decision for the whole year right of course the share price movement will be affected uh, due to a lot of uh, um, like uh, uh, because of the economic situation what are the current issues and so on so you know why the price goes down and why the uh, price are rising for example right so this is the one that you have to uh, analyze in the share price movement. So based on the graph that you have uh, obtained from this uh, uh, two trend of the price, and uh, this is uh, a kind of uh, you have to make a decision whether to choose uh, is the company is uh, uh, the share is profitable for you to invest or not okay so ada dua part first is for the chapter 8 and then second is for the chapter uh, 9 so combine this uh, all of this analysis into one whole body of a report uh, follow this format right Okay, uh, you have to uh, normally uh, the front pages, table of content, the introductions, uh, just uh, uh, briefly explain what does it mean by fundamental and technical analysis. Also, in, in the introduction, you just uh, need to add a few uh, 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 paragraph uh, uh, mentioning about the introduction of the company. So, just a little bit, okay, briefly, and then goes to the body content. So, mention which year that you have uh, taken for the fundamental analysis. For example, 2018 and 2019, and then uh, 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 also uh, show the result of the market ratio that you have uh, calculated, okay, and then uh, try to... Uh, um, write the analysis of the uh, ratios okay and results of the technical analysis is the part two okay the part two the second part uh, just now so this is where you have to explain the daily trend and the secondary trend okay and um, uh, if you can uh, compile in a graph it would be better and uh, mention whether the situation is bullish or bearish and then also uh, in this uh, part you also have to make uh, some analysis some analysis regarding to uh, the share price movement 
why it's uh, rising, why it uh, goes down or something like, uh, is it a, a static uh, movement, right? So mention a little bit uh, regarding what are your analysis, okay, a bit based on the share price movement. And of course, in the conclusion, lastly, you have to mention uh, whether it is uh, profitable for you to invest in that share prices for that particular company. Uh, is it better for you to buy the share or sell the share? Right. So this is your uh, conclusion. Okay. Mention uh, uh, why. Okay. And based on your both of the fundamental and te technical analysis earlier. And then you have to list the references and then list the uh, appendices, right? Uh, at least the two years financial statement of the company, all right? Uh, only print out a statement that have effect on the stated financial ratio sahaja because the annual report sometimes could be uh, up to 100 pages. So please just take uh, the or choose the one that uh, only represent the statement of account okay i will show you uh, later minimum 10 pages uh, maximum is 15 pages but if it's uh, over um, uh, written is okay um, uh, i don't mind but uh, minimum 10 pages must be fulfilled at least right so maximum uh, in a group is at least 5% per group. Okay, uh, I will explain to you how you are going to find the uh, companies uh, at the Busa Malaysia and how are you going to find the share prices in the next video.